guys, does, do you like pizza? If you do, congratulations. I have a winner for you because today we are doing pizza edition. Okay, pizza edition, pizza edition. So, edition. So, we are going to do pizza edition. That means you don't know pizza edition? Someone who's addicted to pizza. Okay. So today for Freaky Eaters, I cannot find the short version, so it will be a part two. So let's get into the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn your notifications on, and let us get into the video. A Freaky Eater is someone who takes an eating habit to the extreme. 22-year-old Josh has an obsession with pizza. Pizza for breakfast, pizza for lunch, pizza for dinner. And it's taking a serious toll on his health. Josh's uncle David is desperate for someone to help. If it's left unchecked, he is going to kill himself. Can specialists Mike Dow and JJ Virgin break this dangerous addiction? This is how many pizza you eat in a year. Yeah. In order to save his stomach, this is poisonous to your body and his life. This is incredibly dangerous to your health. If we do not help him, Josh can die. <laughs> Edition. My name is David, and Josh, my nephew, is a freaky eater. Correct. 22-year-old Josh eats pizza three meals a day. Good stuff. A total of 1,800 pounds every single year. 80 times more than the average person. Josh's Fact. pizza consumption is to excess. It's gotten to the point where it's a compulsion. I crave pizza every time I want a meal. Right now, I want pizza. I don't know what made me want it. I just want it. Poor! Hot, cold, one day old, frozen, frozen, microwaved. Bro. Nutrition comes from the 2,000 cups of white flour, 250 cups of tomato sauce, and 230 pounds of cheese that he eats every year. Josh's diet concerns me, scares me really, because I feel like if it's left unchecked, that he is going to kill himself. When Josh was a child, he ate a variety of foods. Joshua was not a picky eater when he was younger. The picky eating didn't start until he actually had money to buy his own food. Starting in third grade, Josh was able to buy his own lunches, and that's when pizza became a problem. Boy! Fridays, if you waited until the second bell, after the lunch lady had extras, um, she'd give you an extra big slice of pizza. There it is! Josh was eating pizza whenever okay. he his hands up. So I want to say something real quick. So the thing I want to say is most like when you have strength, the strength addiction, freaky or sure, whatever that stuff is. Most of that addictions come from when you're a child. Some of them do not. Some of them do. But in this case, with his pizza, with Josh's pizza addiction, it came from when he was a child. The lunch lady on Fridays give us slice of pizza. Hey, how you doing? I got a bit, I got a bit juicy slice of boot, uh, um pizza. So that where he's like, oh yeah, I love that crust. Oh yeah, I love that cheese. Oh lord, that pizza sauce. Oh lord, yes, tomato sauce. Like the wrong call. Oh lord, love pizza. Oh lord, together I made a baby. Lord have mercy. Oh yeah. Oh. Pizza, too. that's how you feel about pizza. Okay, let's go. And gradually, other foods disappeared from his diet. The last time I could remember eating a vegetable was probably fifth grade when my mom forced me to eat some and I, and I ate some just to disguise the other hand, grabbing it in the napkin to throw it away. Despite his terrible diet, Josh pushed himself as an athlete and he excelled in high school volleyball. Joshua the athlete was actually quite quite good. During high school he was MVP and he helped to coach the team. And then when he started playing beach volleyball, we saw a lot of great future for him. It was very exciting to watch him play because he was good at it. Um, and you could just tell he enjoyed it. He beamed, he smiled. Volleyball was the most important thing to me. But then three years ago, when Josh was 19, he suddenly became ill. I was at volleyball practice and I was just running and then all of a sudden I just had this urge to just vomit 
<laughs> and then it started happening day after day after day after day. And then after a month, it started happening when I was waking up. And it's been going on for two and a half years. When I wake up in the morning, I have about 10 to 30 minutes of hell. Yeah, that's it. That's I'll have a massive that's headache. That's... My heart will be palpitating. I have about 10 to 30 minutes to throw up. It's like mentally just agonizing, you know, every morning waking up like that. Josh was passed from doctor to doctor over the course of three years. After countless tests and scans, not one could diagnose him. The most they could do was prescribe migraine medication. Well, his thing, his thing was Dr. Mike and JJ Virgin. They, um, Dr. Mike and JJ Virgin, them two are the greatest. They will get to the bottom of you. If you don't, so yeah, here's the thing. Like, they cannot help you if you don't cover it. You're like, if you're like, I want to make a change. If you don't, like, if you're saying, like, I don't want to make a change, well, I'm sorry. You won't have to die then. But whatever. It's your choice. It, you, so you have a choice. On one hand, you help. Yes, I, I want you to help me. I need help. I'm ill. I need help. Okay? And on another hand, you have. So this hand, you have. No! I don't want to stop. What the? You mean I'm not going to stop? I'm going to keep drinking and eating whatever I, I want. And then, well, you go on to your way to um, whatever you whatever you lead at. But most likely, but Dr. JJ Virgin, most likely they get you on this hand. So they're like, hell yeah, help me, Jesus. Lord, help me see. I want you to help me, Lord. Let's go. Boy, if you don't... Oh. I've actually sat down and told the doctors how much pizza you actually eat every day, every week. I told him I ate a lot of it, but I'm not exact. Before Josh got sick, he was a young man with a plan. You know, he was in school, he was playing volleyball regularly, and all of his dreams of being a pro volleyball player, finishing school, just absolutely evaporated. I lost volleyball, I lost so many friends. What? Ew, what? So, there's a deep, a deep hole. Forced to quit the sport that had come to define him, by the age of 20, Josh had lost everything. His athletic dreams, his friends, and his self-esteem. Oh, Ethan, it's good. So you can have another one of the 10 specials and stuff in there. Eventually, he left school and moved in with his grandmother. He is not eating any vegetables. Why any food? I don't taste this. I'm gonna give up on you. As he descended deeper and deeper into depression. Oh, hold on. I know. Well, I know damn well. I know damn well. That's not one goddamn meal. Look. So hey, here's what we got. We have two. Like you, if you go to Food Line, Walmart, whatever, whoever. And you get like mini pizzas in the box. They're frozen in the box. Those, like, he has two of them. A hot pocket. A one box of bagel bites and one slice of pizza. That is too much goddamn pizza for one sitting. Like, so here's, so I'm going to plan how all that pizza go. The one bagel bites, that could be like breakfast. One of those pizzas. Really, could two like two like two of the mini pizzas can be for like lunch because like excuse me because I like one of the mini pizzas <laughs> excuse me low hummers that sprite mm -mm. so um so like bagel bites like that one box of that 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 to me that fills me up one of the pizza mini pizzas that don't fill me up no so like two of them fills me up one slice of pizza that could be like for a snack. Oh my goodness, I'm scratching my nose. I'll be <laughs> anyway. Um then we had the hot pocket that one hot pocket fills me up. Well, and then that's it. Then the hot pocket food for be dinner. Josh but that's too much pizza for one day setting. He currently eats over four hundred and sixty nine pizzas each year, three hundred and 
20 slices every single month. I definitely forget about my problems when I'm eating pizza. For that who, moment, who doesn't? So whatever's going on after I eat that pizza, I like that feel. So how much of this pizza do you think you're going to be able to eat? Oh, I'll probably eat my half. I think for Josh, the amount of pizza that he eats is at the very least, if it does not cause his illness, it aggravates it. I can answer 100% to my heart of hearts that I do not believe my diet has anything to do with the way that I feel physically. Well, you're wrong. Probably more unhealthy than pizza. You're wrong. Spiraling out of control, and he needs help before it's too late. With Josh's health declining by the day, his uncle is well. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a part three. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment down below. Do you think it is something wrong with Josh or not? Comment down below. If you think that he does have an addiction, I need you to hit the like button in the face and subscribe and join the IJs. And I will see and also hit the bell so you'll be notified. Almost everybody will be notified. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Peace, like, comment, subscribe. You know the whole trifecta system, everything. And let's goodbye. I'm about to go film part two. Bye. Stop it, mother.